Today we have a powerful alignment of four different planets. Planet Venus, Jupiter, Mars and Uranus. So if you feel today that there's a like a really inspiring energy in the air, it's because those planets are aligning a doorway of an incredible new energy. This energy is actually in the air for some time, but um, today is the strongest. So if we go into ancient Greek mythology, planet Venus was known as the planet of harmony, friendship and love. So it has this harmonious energy that is connecting us back to us, reminding us where we are coming from and what's the source of us. It's also reminding us that you need to nurture the connection with the source, with the creator, if you want to stay aligned and in tune with your intuition, you need to nurture that connection. The name planet Jupiter from ancient Greek mythology was known as the planet that inspires us to expand ourselves, to, to seek towards improvement, seek towards letting go of what's not serving us anymore so we can embody more of what's healthy, what's, what's helpful, what's beneficial for us and for all. It's also the planet of happiness and optimism. So it may inspire us to focus on the solutions rather than on what's going wrong, because the world is changing so fast. But every single day we can decide to focus on what can I change today. It all comes to conscious choices, right? And when it comes to conscious choices, Jupiter is reminding you your life is made out of different aspects, but it all starts with the relationship you have with yourself, how you're taking care of your body, your physical body firstly, what kind of food you eat, how you're, um, are you staying active, what are you drinking, are you stretching your muscles, taking care of your body, then your mind, what kind of information you allow yourself to consume, because you're not just what you eat, you're also what you think. What kind of words you're saying, what kind of intentions you have, how you start your day, what, ki what kind of intentions you start your day. Jupiter is inspiring you to tap into purity of the mind, to purify your mind and let go of all that nonsense, nonsense and garbage and recognize that it, the, the beauty is in simplicity. When you have that pure intention, I want to touch today everybody or everyone with love and kindness. I will share love and kindness with everyone I get in touch with today. Doesn't matter what happens, my intention is love and kindness. You see, Jupiter is all about optimism. And if you follow if you're actually in tune with this energy, it may help you to purify your mind. And then there's the planet Mars, also in alignment today, which is representing the energy of strength, willpower, fearlessness. Isn't that a beautiful connection? It awakens love, uh, reminds us of who we are, but then Mars brings us that strength willpower, fearlessness, to break the patterns and design new ones, to design new habits which may come from new actions, which may come from organized mind, right? An organized mind will obviously organize our emotional system as well, so we will feel lighter and better. Our intentions will become pure and suddenly our life will, will start to, to feel much lighter. So Mars is reminding you that the source of power is within you. If you feel like your willpower is weak, it's a great time to start working on it. You need to understand that willpower is a muscle. Your will is a muscle. And you're training it every time you're paying attention to something. We are living in an a age of information. Which means that it's so easy to get distracted from what are we working on. 
you may work on some passion projects, you maybe want to build a community, maybe you want to be a part of a certain community. Maybe you want to build a better relationship with your family, but because of too many distractions, you may say, well, I don't have time for that. Time is not a problem, but your choices may be. And Mars is reminding you to take care of your attention. And for that, sometimes we need to really organize our schedule and, and take care of how we are investing our time. Fearlessness, my friends, reminding you that you can do it, that you can do it. And then Uranus, we'll talk more about this later. We have another planet in alignment, Uranus, which is representing change, freedom, authenticity, which is basically an awareness of your unique gifts and talents. So what a powerful combination this is, right? So, the world is changing, we are changing, everything is changing. And a first thing that I want to say to you right now is that it's a beautiful moment to ask yourself how well your energy is organized. So, what I mean by that, I mean how well your mind is organized, how well your emotions are organized, because that's what initiates action and develop, develops habits. And, for example, when you purify your mind, the way that you really start decluttering your life from the things that are kinda cluttering your mind, poisoning your mind, and you focus on what's important to you, you prioritize some things, you will start to feel lighter, you will start to have more energy, and you will notice that for the whole time it was in your control. What like, you know, you go on social media and there's so many things that may uh, rob you from your attention, from your energy. But if you decide, well, I will focus on what I want to create today. What can I give today? We go from a consumer to a creator. And that's an important shift because so many of us have been lost in this uh, system of constant consuming not being aware that whatever we consume affects us. And that's where Mars may remind you of your strength, your willpower, and an ability to reset yourself and focus on what's important to you. Make a good plan, my friends. If you're writing down to-do lists and you're not following them, well, it means that it's not working for you, so maybe scheduling those things will be much better. Maybe spending more time in nature may be more helpful for you to clarify your mind and to notice what's really, really important to you. Because if you're all, all the time just rushing through life, we may notice that we don't even know what we are chasing for. If we don't know what we are chasing for, how can we find meaning in doing anything, right? That's why we need to get back to ourselves and that's what Uranus is, is bringing with its beautiful energy of change, freedom and awareness of your unique gifts and talents. It is reminding you that you're here with a mission, you're here with a purpose and it's connected with your unique gifts and talents that you need to embrace and express. It's also a reminder that your imperfections are your pathway toward your most extraordinary life. And what I mean by that? Well, sometimes we may say to ourselves, well, I'm not as good as somebody else, but you are you. And once you recognize the beauty of you being you, you will notice that this is your superpower. Right? So it's about uh, relearning unlearning what we've been told, how I should be, to recognize how beautiful you are, so we can start expressing your inner beauty. And that's what's changing the world. So, you can use this uh, today's energy, and it will last for more days. And tomorrow we have 3-3, right? The 3rd of March. Uh, 
In numerology, 3-3 is known as master teacher, recognizing the knowledge that we've uh, gained until now and seeing how much are we really applying it, recognizing that uh, all is always working in our favor, recognizing that there's always a divine connection to everything we are experiencing right now, recognizing that what matters the most is embracing our uniqueness, embracing our talents and connecting with right people so they can shine, right? Because nothing will happen if you turn on your light alone in the room, isolated from the world, right? You need to connect with people, build communities or find communities where you feel welcomed, where you feel appreciated, where people appreciate your unique part, your unique self. And that's what is truly making a new world, a new earth, or however we want to call it, a beautiful reminder how powerful you are. So a practice that uh, could be used today for this is just a normal meditation. Just slow down, especially if you go into nature. Slow down, start breathing deeply and slower and just feel life all around you. Feel the ground beneath you. Feel your heartbeat. Feel the force that is making your heart beating and appreciate it. Say thanks to it. Not forgetting something in return, you're already alive and that's already a miracle. But just appreciate it. Cultivate that connection. Then appreciate all life around you. You may find so many different creatures beneath the ground. You may find many plants around you, trees maybe, maybe water, maybe some birds, maybe some clouds in the air, maybe you can feel a gentle touch of the wind and just feel all of that and just connect with it and appreciate it. Just appreciate it because that's what connects you back with nature. And you are the nature. Once you connect yourself with the nature, your mind will purify. Your emotional system will align, will get back into coherence. And suddenly you will see things clearly. Suddenly you will notice what's important to you. That's how we declutter ourselves. And this practice today can help you to align yourself back to you because you may be distracted, you may be lost or maybe many stressful things happened recently and you may feel a bit shaky because of that. I want you to know that it's all okay. And accepting all those different states can just help us to, to let go of it faster. Acceptance is a path towards healing. And healing can be done once you stop judging yourself. And once you stop judging yourself or uh, the world around you, everything will become more beautiful. And remember that wholeness lives within you. It's not somewhere else. And you can tap into it. Remember that the native wisdom, the universal vi wisdom, the source is always speaking through you, not through somebody else. Even though sometimes what somebody else is saying may resonate with you. But firstly, pay attention to what your soul is saying, what your heart is saying, and prioritize those things because that's what truly matters. But then also focus on the action. How could you become more independent? How could your lifestyle become more independent from unsustainable systems? Because everything is changing so fast and we truly need to focus on what's sustainable. And that's a deep question we need to say to ourselves and we need to take action towards it. 
How can I build a life that will be sustainable for me, for my family, for people around me? Because that's the only way towards freedom, right? And you will find answers for yourself because of your unique gifts, talents, mission. Only you can, can find answers that will resonate with you. And work on nurturing the trust with this inner messages. Trust what you feel. Because that's always there for you to tell you what you need to know. So my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Stay beautiful. Stay magnificent, stay creative. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. I draw my passion. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love. <laughs>